Professor Thierry Sherlock is an orthopaedic surgeon in the Brussels University Hospital. He operates on hundreds of patients each year, carrying out medical device implants. Complications are rare, but do happen. Il y a des complications à long terme, et c'est surtout ces complications à long terme qui peuvent être imputées à l'implant. Par, par exemple, une fracture de l'implant, euh, de l'usure anormale d'un implant, la création d'ions ou de, de débris euh, au niveau du couple de frottement de l'implant, ça fait en sorte que euh, ces implants euh, peuvent créer des, des problèmes biologiques au long terme. A British study revealed that hundreds of thousands of patients worldwide may have been exposed to toxic substances after undergoing potentially dangerous hip replacements. To better safeguard patients, MEPs are extensively revising regulation on this issue. The main aim is to tighten safety checks to prevent implants being placed on the market too quickly. The body which allows the product on the market has to have better training, it has to be better enforced, people have to be really knowledgeable and the product has to be looked at. It's, it can't be like a shopping tour that whoever wants to have a product on the market goes where it's the easiest. However, for this British MEP, increasing controls could result in too much bureaucracy. If we become too bureaucratic, a lot of uh, medical devices are produced by small companies, SMEs, and this will actually stop innovation. They won't be able to produce and they will just withdraw from the market. So it will be bad for patients, there will be less innovation, less medical devices out there. Back at the operating theatre, tighter controls are welcomed, but not to the detriment of research. Si on rend la législation trop stricte et qu'on demande trop de données cliniques et trop de données euh, au, au niveau des de, de, de matériaux et trop de tests en laboratoire, avec des études qui devraient durer 5, même voire 10 ans, mais ça pourrait aussi euh, diminuer la tendance à innover. This new legislation could come into effect in 2014 and has the potential to restore patient confidence in opting for these medical devices.